Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tech Cities. Brandy's He's coming back to you guys today with a quick video uh, addressing the question of how far can an Intel stock heatsink fan clock up to? Now, as you guys know, my water cooler's died, and so I'm in the process of deciding what uh, my next cooler should be. But I mean, in the meantime, I've got this back on, and yeah, it's a little, a little tiny beast. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is crap, but anyway, uh, I'm probably the only guy in the world who is running a delittered chip with a stock Intel heatsink fan. Well, I'm probably one of the, the many few. So I've just booted this up now, and we are at, hopefully you guys can see that, 25 degrees ambience. And let's get onto the overclocks. So we'll just get onto the overclocks here. So I want to start showing you guys what clocks we can get. So I'll just move the camera in a little bit closer so you guys can see. And we'll see how far we can take this bad boy. So we'll load up real temp and prime 95. So this is at four gigs. So I've decided to put this up to four gigahertz and we'll see how it idles at 25 degrees. So you can see there it's at 50 degrees. Um, I have delittered the chip, but also something else to remember is that I am using the stock Intel heatsink uh, paste. So this is just an idea of what you roughly can expect. I mean, my delittered chip should be cooler, a little bit cooler than other chips, but not by much. I mean, I am using the stock Intel heatsink paste, so that's something to remember. So I'll just pull that up for you guys here so you can see the temp. So I'm going to start a Prime 95 bench. Now, I'm not going to push it to 4.2. So this is at 4 gigs. So this is at 4 gigs at the moment, and I wouldn't push it past this, honestly. Uh, if you guys are trying to push your stock heatsink fan to 4.2, I'd probably only recommend it in the winter. And even then, maybe put some good heat sink uh, paste on the heat spreader. So this is at 4.2. As you can see there, it's, it's already reaching 70 degrees. I mean, uh, 75. So I, I think this would probably go up to 80. Um, yeah, so it's really not, this is at four gigs. So if I took this to 4.2, it would probably be even worse. So I'm not gonna recommend it, but yeah. Uh, how far can an Intel heatsink fan go? I yeah. In ultimately, I'd say 4.2 max. I mean, even then, I'd only recommend it in the winter. In the summer, I'd only go 4 gigs. But even then, if you guys are buying the enthusiast chips, I mean, you can get a Cooler Master 212 Evo or an Enamax T40 for like $25, $30. These are the chips that you guys should be getting. I mean, sorry, the coolers that you guys should be getting if you decide to go with these chips. Uh, they're pretty good value for money, and they offer, you know, they're only $20, $30, as I said before, and they offer a great, I'm going to get one probably soon. I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm getting the Animax T40, so I'll do a review on it, and I'll show you guys the temps, and I'll also compare that to my previous water cooler as well. So here we see here, 80 degrees, it's already reaching 80 degrees, uh, which is pretty damn high. I would, you know, for me, 80 degrees is like my maximum. If something goes above 80 degrees in prime, I'm not comfortable running that clock at 24-7 speeds. So that's just my sort of upper limit. As you know, I like to have sort of resellability or resaleability in my chips when I sell them, you know, a year or two years down the track. So I don't like them to degrade. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, that's just the Intel heatsink fan. It's, it's a piece of crap. It idles 25 degrees, roughly 25 degrees above ambience. And its load is rough, roughly, whoa. 55 degrees above ambience at 4 gigs. So this is at 4 gigs too, and this is a deleted chip. So keep in mind that if you haven't deleted your chip, your temps will probably maybe run up to about 85 now, 86, 87. So yeah, 4 gigs in summer. Uh, even, no, even in summer, I mean, you can get 30 degrees, it'll run up even hotter. So my advice ultimately in conclusion is to say summer, uh, probably 3.8, um, if it's a 30 degree day, 25 degrees ambience, four is okay. Uh, in winter, when it gets to 15 degrees, uh, 4.2 is probably gonna be okay. So hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this vid. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the Intel junk heatsink fan, please leave them in the comment section below. I thought I'd just test this uh, for you guys for a bit of fun uh, while I'm in the process of getting a new uh, cooler and RMA and the other one, which I'll probably just uh, sell on eBay or something because yeah, um, I'm going to say that, you know, I'm going to come out with a video saying that water coolers, you know, I don't recommend the 
I'm not gonna I'm gonna stop recommending these uh, kit coolers. You know, if you want to go with water cooling, you either go all out and get custom water pumps and all that, or get say you know get a, just get an air cooler because you know 14 months is horrible. That you know my my chip as you guys saw in that previous video, my chip could have easily blew up. So not blew up, but I mean it could have easily failed. That's you know that's just the safety margin I hit. So. Anyway guys, uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to get a new heatsink fan soon and when I do, I will come back to you guys with a awesome review of what cooler I get and I'll show you guys the temps. So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already, sub. What are you doing? Let's get on to the awesome source. Let's get some awesome source on our computers and not fry them at the same time. So, yeah, my computer has been through a beating. I would take it up to 4.2 if my computer, if my chip hasn't cut out in the past but it has cut out already so I'm going to give it a bit of a break since I've deleted it a lot as well with all the pace tests and stuff but anyway guys uh, I've rambled on enough this is probably <laughs> I'm just rambling on but I want to in the meantime show you that this is sort of where it's capping at 82 degrees so there you have it 4 gig 4 gig overclock is what I recommend as a max overclock for the heatsink fan and 4.2 in the winter if the ambience are pretty cold like 15 degrees so, anyway guys, peace out for now. Brandy, bye.